I lived in a different era. I know that for a fact. <laughs> so, yeah, which is another fascinating topic I'd like to bring up next time. It's uh, near-death experiences and kids who remember a different life. So you mean a kid has a recollection of... Oh, there was this kid, four years old, had nightmares that he was dying in a burning plane that was crashing. He could name the plane as a Corsair. He could name the aircraft carrier, which nobody ever heard of because it was a light aircraft carrier. The battle was Okinawa. He said that Japanese soldier shot him down. He named his wingman. They found the wingman. He says, yeah, I remember that guy. He was, my, he was right next to me when his engine was hit and his plane went down in flames. Four-year-old kid. This is all factual when you this look it up. This is factual, actually proven. This is not BS. It's a Virginia psychiatrist, University, University of Virginia, who has documented this. And he's very careful to weed out, you know, things like the kid was, you know, prepped or... Right, given this information. Yeah, yeah. very careful about that. It's fascinating. Why isn't something like that more talked about? Like, why haven't I heard of that? <sighs> oh, because you... He did. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was gonna say more because the world is afraid of those types of things. That's a of good those part being of it. Yes. being that being something that could be true. Yeah, and people but don't want to advertise. I that. have, I got a couple of his books that I'm reading. I have no idea, but I find it fascinating. And this is not, you know, some blogger that's coming up with pseudoscience. This is a real scientist, MD who makes sure that he screens these stories out, and he gets them from around the world, too. And I just have no explanation. How could the kid name a specific aircraft carrier and a specific wingman by name? Can we look this up? Jay, are you looking it up? Yeah, I am. Um, I found it. I know what he's talking about. Um, what I'm reading right now that interests me is it says 70% of the children who experience this um, recall dying by murder, suicide, or accident, like something tragic. Like yeah. that's that's fascinating. Leaves wow. some kind of imprint. And the uh, the corollary to that is that as they get older, they forget it all. Yeah. I'm so as, as a well. kid, you have these memories, and they're gonna fade. Yes, as you get older. It says by age seven or so, so not even too old. Wow. See, I, that, that... I'm not making up this stuff. No, oh, no, I honest. believe you. I believe you. It's uh, I have this fantastic mind that goes nowhere. Uh, yeah. 